sure you don't want to go fishing with the boys? No. Oh, I'll, I'll let you stand upwind of Taylor's stink bait. Oh, boy. That's a tough decision. Why would I want to go shopping, uh, have a manicure, and take a bubble bath when I could be doling out stink bait to bottom feeders? <laughs> It's going to be a sad day out at Miller's Pond for anything that breathes through a gill. Norman, we're going fishing. We're not going to chase the fish into the car. If you want to fish good, you got to look good. Just want to catch him. I don't want to date him. Look, I don't want to get wet, okay? Besides, you got to take along some papers that have got to grade, and they got to have some place where I can keep them so that they don't get wet. Oh, yeah. How's the uh, substitute teaching going? Actually, it's going pretty good, considering that I'm teaching chemistry. I tell you, hardest thing to master is them little bunts and burners. Mm. Them little devils, they're tricky. It amazes me that Albert Einstein had bushy eyebrows. <laughs> But she still married my cousin Wood. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Stinky. Hey, How then? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Call the police, honey. <laughs> Would you relax? The police already know where I am, and I ain't no way to greet a cousin that you ain't seen in five years. Come here. Yeah. I thought the judge gave you 10 to 15. Have you ever heard of a little thing called, uh, good behavior? <laughs> Obviously, you have it. Oh, Calvin! When did you get here? How'd you get into our house? Mm -hmm. Is there anyone chasing you? Uh, well, let's see, uh, last night, through your bedroom window, and a one-armed man. No! Just kidding, honey. Little prison humor there. No. Wait a minute. You were in our bedroom last night? You got the number of your parole officer on you? By the way, I uh, didn't know you drooled in your sleep. I don't. <laughs> don't get so testy. If I slept next to that, I'd drool too. What's the big deal anyway? I sleep in a bike plate. <laughs> I know you, boy. What? You're the one that testified against me down in Fayetteville. Put me away for five long years. Or to cut you. Please don't. <laughs> uh, uh I'm just a substitute teacher wearing rubber pants. <laughs> Calvin Newton. Herman Stiles. Nice to see you, Herman. Nice to see you, too. Hey! Cousin Calvin! Hey, you right come here. Give me a hug, boy. How you doing, man? Hey, you brought a stink bait, huh? <laughs> you stink bait? Huh? <laughs> well, well, I thought it was a little strong for moose you pork. I don't know. That's <laughs> uh, mm, a good thing I found your toothbrush last night, Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> A little prison humor there, huh? Well, no, yours is a red one, ain't it? Excuse me. <laughs> Got my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade. A baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving easy shade. They got ten cent doors, no locks on the door. And everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule. And every day that passes is slower than molasses. And you can't help but smile, lying in the shade. So come on down and you'll be glad you stayed. Don't talk about leaving. I'm never leaving in the shade. Yes, doctor. Oh, I'm getting a cold. And for my symptoms, I need a name I've counted on for years. From the makers of Advil, Advil Cold and Sinus. It's tough on cold, like Advil is on pain. Advanced formula Advil Cold and Sinus. Introducing Red... We've heard some of you are waiting for a rice a with a bit less salt. Well, here you go. 
Rice and roni with a third less salt. Lower on salt, but as your family will find, very high on taste. The San Francisco tree. Woman who loves Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. This is my story. I knew it was for kids, so I had an arrangement with the stock boy at the market. I paid for it, and when the coast was clear, he'd hand over the box, and that frosted crunch would be mine. Mine. Of course, it's all behind me now. They deliver. There's no disguising it. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! It is an entirely new class of luxury automobile, created to a higher standard. So responsive, its advanced V8 Northstar system makes passing and merging virtually effortless. And so spacious, it accommodates six passengers in complete comfort. It is a combination of qualities you've never seen before. Yet a single drive will make you wonder why you ever settled for less. Introducing the all-new DeVille Concours by Cadillac, creating a higher standard. Still want to go fishing? I got some dynamite in the car. He's funny. He's stinky. <laughs> Emily, that's not stinky. That's daddy. And, uh, and this is your cousin Calvin. He's cousin Alvin's brother. Uh, Calvin, um, I don't mean to sound rude or anything, but um, just what exactly are you doing here? And just for the record, we have a very good neighborhood watch program. <laughs> Well, Miss Abel, actually, uh, it's kind of embarrassed to bring this up in front of the kids, but I, I come here to get a high school diploma. You shouldn't be embarrassed about that. I mean, that's wonderful. No, let's not give up being rude so easily. <laughs> Wood, Wood, he's trying to better himself. You, you, you see, kids, you can never underestimate the importance of a good education. Everyone should have a high school diploma. She's right. Yeah. So can I borrow yours? <laughs> no. You cannot borrow my diploma. And what do you need it for anyway? Don't you still have that ski mask in your crowbar? <laughs> well, listen, I'm not doing this for myself, okay? I'm doing this for my fiancée, Vanetta. Now, while she was in prison, she not only learned to cut her meat with a spoon, <laughs> she got a diploma. You better hang on to her, because Prince Charles is single now. Alvin, a diploma is just a piece of paper, but an education, well, the, uh, that, that's an investment. If you pass the high school equivalency test, you're not only doing it for this, uh... What's her name? But you'll also be doing it for yourself. Besides, Wood's a teacher. He could help you. I'm a teacher. I'm not the miracle worker. Aw. Come on, Dad. You always say that one of the most important things in life is a good education. Yeah. You told me if I don't study... I live like Cousin Calvin. Yeah, Stinky, have we been reading Go Dog Go for nothing? No, listen. I may have got thrown out of kindergarten on a trumped-up gambling charge, okay? I ain't leaving this house till I'm a high school graduate. All right. <laughs> what? All right. But we got a lot of ground to cover. Now, where do you want to start? Finger painting or blocks? <laughs> You know, I'm studying chemistry, too. Mm. I've been working on a machine that'll take apart a person's molecules and reassemble them 20 feet away. I'm calling it the Nubatron. <laughs> you know, that's amazing. How far you gotten with it? Just the name. Certainly, I've been out of shape. It wasn't very fly to you to just go walking out of our study session like that. You know, correcting grammar on a ransom note is not my idea of studying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hello, you. You don't want to testify against me down at Fayetteville. Put me away for five long years. I ought to cut you. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> no, huh? you didn't do it. Oh. Well, I'm glad I learned my lesson. <laughs> well, Nub, I'm Calvin. How are you? Uh, oh, hi. I, I sure enjoyed your segment on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> well, 
thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, sir. Uh, <laughs> you certainly know how to make a person feel at ease, don't you? It's a gift. Got me through five years of prison as a bachelor. <laughs> now listen, I know I didn't do too well on the study session, but I guarantee you, if you'll just give me one more chance... Geography? Yeah, try him again on geography. I like geography. I like it. <sighs> What's the capital of New York? Give me a hint. <laughs> it starts with an A. Attica. <laughs> no, it's not Attica. It's Albany. Lord, Attica. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> Are you sure of that? Well, you know, come to think of it, it seems like I did read somewhere that they were changing it to Attica. <laughs> Yeah. Well, frankly, you know, I, I really believe I'm going to be better at word problems. I've got a little word problem for you. Three people are sitting at a table having a discussion. One gets up and walks out disgusted. How many does that leave at the table? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Two. I'm some guy over in Fayetteville who testified against you and you're gonna cut me. Well, no. What do you think I am, an idiot? <laughs> you're the teacher. That's right, I'm the teacher. Right now, I gotta go teach a chemistry class. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Go ahead. I'll go with you. I gotta learn some of that crap anyway. Oh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, well, I mean, Calvin, I wish you could, but <laughs> I can't let you do that. Well, uh, how's a little this ain't like you gonna stop me? All right, good morning, everybody. Looks like we have all the elements for a fine chemistry class today. <laughs> you get it? Elements? Hey, Dave. I hate to interrupt you when you're on a roll, but, uh, what time is lunch? I'm starving, Dinky. Calvin, lunch will be at noon. Don't worry about lunch, okay? We're gonna get on... Excuse me. You're a little bit tardy, aren't you? Well, I'm sorry, but my locker was jammed. Luckily, though, some old dude named Calvin helped me pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ralph. Remember me? Calvin? That old dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're in this class? Yeah. No way! That's what Dinky said, but I changed his mind, too. <laughs> if you'd excuse me, Ralph, I hate to break up your little party here, but we got a little class going on. <laughs> now, we're going to be doing an experiment today. It's going to demonstrate Boyle's Law. Now, Boyle's Law states that if you've got a constant temperature, then the pressure of a fixed mass of gas will be inversely proportional to its volume. You want to see a fixed mass of gas? Pull that finger. <laughs> Excuse me, Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> well, you got a little something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? Well, no, I... I better keep this one to myself. <laughs> you just... you just go on with your balls there, Dinky. <laughs> Forget about my bulls, and if you would, I'd appreciate it if you quit calling me Dinky. Now, I'm gonna need a lab assistant. Could I get a volunteer, please? Son, if you want to continue to use that arm, you better put it down. <laughs> All right, come on up here, Calvin. But now, look, please, remember safety first. There's some chemicals on this table that are highly flammable. All right, now, class, the first thing we want to do is we want to master the Bunsen burner. Hey, hey. What? Let me help you, Ace. Be careful with that thing. Yeah. You know what, Dinky? If you was to mix a little, uh, oh, I don't know, ammonia with this stuff, 
You could bowl the doors right off a liquor store. <laughs> This is a high school classroom. Put the cigarette out. Well, okay. Just relax. Good Dinky. Lord. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't anybody, don't put that in oh, oh, Don't, don't anybody can it. Uh -oh. He's panicking. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not panicking. Coach, I didn't want him to come into this place. He made me bring him. <laughs> turn off the alarm before he tries to tunnel his way out of here. All right, I'll turn off the alarm. And when I get it turned off, I'm just going to keep on running. School's out for you, Calvin. Why don't you go back to doing what you do best? And uh, what is that, Stinky? Hard time. To make my nachos? I lay the chips down with the curls facing up and heap on so much cheese, salsa, refried... ...for two aids. Do you think maybe you're giving up on Calvin too soon? Honey. He almost burned the schoolhouse down. But he didn't. And that's progress for an arsonist. I'm sorry. I just overreacted the slightest little felony. <laughs> oh, Miss Avery, if I may have a moment of your time, I would like to thank you, honey, for all of your hospitality. Oh. I'd love to stay. Mm. But unfortunately, your husband is throwing me out. Uh, now, Stinky... I want to apologize for all the trouble I've been, but you know how bad luck it just follows me around. Yeah. Well, why don't you just take it with you, and then it won't. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Cousin Calvin, thanks for helping me with my pine with derby car. The first one I had where the wheels actually turned. <laughs> you helped him build that? Would. Well, you know, I always was pretty good with a file and a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Cousin Calvin. <laughs> Let's test that theory, shall we? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, Cousin Calvin. Here, I want you to have this fortune. Ooh. I've had it since I was six, and it's always brought me luck. The only real loser is he who gives up. <laughs> That's pretty deep. Yeah, it's up to my knees now. <laughs> Calvin. You want to give him this book? Oh, the little engine that could. Oh, Quud. She thinks he can. She thinks he can. Emma, <laughs> I wish you'd given him go, dog, go. Now listen, can I ask you something before I go to my depressing hotel room? Is it true that the hypotenuse of a right triangle squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. No, I didn't know they had a math section in Playboy magazine. <laughs> well, they don't. But I've just been, you know, going over some of that stuff you taught me, and some of it sunk in. But I still could use your help. Would. What's the capital of New York? <laughs> Why, Albany, of course. <laughs> Very good. Goodbye. <laughs> Population one hundred and one thousand seven hundred and twenty seven. You know the last time my family looked at me like that, I had to take a little chipmunk that was hurt to the veterinarian. And it cost me 350 bucks. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> well, I'll only stay till the test is over. Blood is thick and water, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs>
fun, you guys. We're gonna be late for breakfast with Daddy and Fontana. Calvin, good luck on your test. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Yeah, good luck on the test today and kick some booty. <laughs> <laughs> May the force be with you. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. And hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. I just want you to know that I ain't felt this good about anything since I hotwired my first Chevy. <laughs> All right. You're going to ace it. You're going to do great. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, Calvin, let's get going. You're not getting any smarter. I'm ready. I have to admit something. I didn't think you could do it. I'm... I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. Uh, what, uh, <clears throat> what is this? Uh, this is a turtleneck. Uh, GQ says it's a timely classic. <laughs> I know, it's mine. But what I'm talking about is this writing here. Huh? This writing here, what is that? Oh, well, that's, that's scriptures. That's, that's for inspiration there. <laughs> Really? I, I don't think I've ever heard the scripture. Uh, Hooke's Law. Stress is proportional to strain within the elastic limit. <laughs> oh, good. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> and what have you got on your legs? Uh, I guess you're gonna want to see my anatomy notes, too. I don't want to go near your anatomy. I can't believe you were going to cheat. I'm so surprised at you. I've got more riding on this test than anything I ever had in my life. And you worked harder than you've ever worked on anything in your life. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. You can pass this test. Just, just, just a minute. What? Just a minute. What? What are you, what are you doing? What have you, what have you? <laughs> the Nina? The Pinta? And the Santa Maria. <laughs> How were you going to read it? <laughs> I put it on backwards, didn't I? <laughs> it's going to take you exactly seven and a half hours. Now, this first section of it's on mathematics. That's going to be approximately an hour. Coaches, it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> Trust me, it is. You ready? Uh -huh. Start. Because uh -huh. I, uh, I can't do it. I, uh, my mind's a blank. I've got to have the answers. This is not Jeopardy. <laughs> Stinky, I'm not kidding. Now, somebody better start giving me the answers, or I'm going to take hostages. Give him the answers. <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. I mean, that's very tough talk for a guy in his underwear. <laughs> but you can do it. We both believe you can pass. Now, you've worked hard. Now, come on. I think I can. 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 Listen, listen. Everybody, I want to thank you for your help in helping me attain a higher level of education. I will no longer be dealing in stolen cars and hot appliances because I am now a high school graduate. <laughs> Well, you did it, Kel. <laughs> so what are you going to do now that you have an education? I hope you're going to Disneyland. <laughs> well, Sting Man, since I'm coming up in the world, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to college and get a BS. You know, Calvin, if there's one thing in the world you don't need, son, it's more BS. <laughs> today is mine, today is mine, to do with what I will. Today is mine, my own special cup to fill. Sometimes life takes us down a wrong road, but it's never too late to find your way back if you get an education. And tonight, with the help of his family, Calvin Newton is on the right track in a place 
called Evening Shade. Last month, I celebrated myself right out of it. I have. Let's all dream on and escape to Dave's world. It's next. 